Okay, and by the way, my neck is really long, so and big, so just ignore that. Right, finally. Wait. Anyway. <coughs> Hello, people who are watching this video, and today I'm doing a how to find tips on how to find new music. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so tip number one Instagram. Okay, so when you go into like follow your favourite band members or band bands, just their pages, like the suggested thing, the little arrow um, comes up, so if you just click on them and then you see like a band that you might think, oh, he's good looking, then you might as well listen to music and that is sometimes works out brilliantly and sometimes you find your favourite band and it's just great, yeah. Number two, tags on Tumblr, like if you type in hashtag pop punk, if you like pop punk, and then the story so far comes up and then you don't know who they are and then you go listen to them and then you find out that they're amazing because they are. And then that works out great. Also, you might see a favourite band and sometimes, you know, because people tag unrelated shit and it's annoying. You might see a tag for another different band and then you can go and listen to them. Spotify. As you can see, I'm obsessed with Spotify. Using it right this minute. What am I that you like to? Right, okay. And then if you go on Spotify, it just suggests you all have. Get. It's free. And then you go on... Browse. See, all these things are suggested for me because I like grime and I like rock music. And then the discover thing. And then there's a playlist just for you. And that is how I found most of my bands and favourite just people in general. So that's a great way. And, and the suggest and the radio thing, if you go into the radio, I don't think that works very well because it just plays me song that, songs that I already know, but still. Next is YouTube interviews. I recently, not recently, like two months ago, just want to say just before With Confidence kind of blew up, I found them because they posted an interview on Rock Sound and obviously I'm subscribed to Rock Sound. And then I saw a one minute interview, so I was like, well, I might as well watch it. It's one minute. Fell in love with them because they're Australian, they're just funny, and I just love them. Listened to their music, fell in love with the music, and now I'm just obsessed. So, reason 264 why I don't have a life. Next, record label. Ch oh, YouTube interviews. Oh, well, let's change that one. That one was supposed to be record label channels. So, if you subscribe to like record label channel channels and like rock sound and Kerrang and stuff like that you might see an interview and then watch it and then you become obsessed with the band because you listen to the music and then oh my god and then next is youtube interviews if you type in a band interview from brim the riser and you're looking to suggest like the recommended there's going to be like it's likely there's going to be a band that you ha you either haven't seen or have seen and you keep clicking on them and then you see if you see a band that you haven't listened to before or never heard of and you watch the interview you might fall in love with the music so that's great fan pages like let's say you like a you like pop punk so you follow a pop punk fan page they might post about a band that you've never seen before and then if you listen you already know that they're pop punk so you already know that you might like them so you might as well go and listen to them and that's a great way to do it and fan pages are easy to find because they're pretty much on everything. I mean, like Vine. Oh, I'm gonna miss Vine so much. I love Vine. Next is band tees. Like, if oh, I see a band tee that I like, but I don't know the band, I'm obviously not gonna wear it because I hate when people do that. It just pissed me off. So. I will go and listen to that band, and then I might just find my favourite band. So, yeah, so that's a great way to think it. So, look on Grindstore or something like that, and look for a nice looking band t shirt, and you might find your favorite, new favourite band. I've written genre on here, but I don't really know what that means. So, yeah. Concerts. 
obviously you get the supporting act and a lot of the times that's how I found issues because I went to see Place Vale and they were there and it was fucking sick. So yeah, concerts if you like the band the oh, fucking I can't speak English. If you like the support act then you you'll you can go home and search them. And another one is magazines, like my one of my favourite bands, which is up there on the wall of dreams. No, I'm joking. Just on this wall, can you even see? I would move the camera up and down, but it's just effort. The whole wall's covered basically in bands, but I found them from Kerrang or Roxanne. I don't know, one of them. But now they're one of my favourite bands on this planet. So that is a great one and just read about them in the music and then thought oh this is my type of music mixes is grime with metal and then bang asteroid boys and bang you've got my favorite type of music in the whole planet so that's a good one. so yeah that was my tips on how to find new music i guess yes yeah i hope you enjoyed if you did subscribe and bye. I told your girlfriend you don't need advice. Always in your ear like he's not. Oh, I miss it. Catch me, catch me. Na na na. Oh na na na. Right, okay.